So, it's been a while since I played this game, uh, mostly because I've been waiting for patches to fix the game-breaking error that I keep running into. But uh, I can still do side missions, it's only during the cutscenes that the game crashes on me. So in the meantime, I decided to fill out my B squad. So the idea here is I will hire some new mech warriors and refit a separate set of mechs instead of them just sitting around. Um, so the goal of this Lance is I'm going to have one mech with all short range weapons and then the rest are going to be long range uh, missiles. So the short range mech is going to, uh, maybe I'll leave the AC2 on there, um, the short range mech is going to use sensor lock and then the rest of the mechs are going to be mostly nothing but long range shit. And they're going to knock them over and try and shred them before they get close. And hopefully the fact that they're all lighter mechs around 50-55 tons won't be so detrimental in that case. Um, okay, so let me think here. I have 5 LRM-15s and 10 LRM-10s. These things are 5 tons. These are 7. So you get five more missiles for two more tons. So LRM-15s look like they are a better bang for buck, so to speak. Bang for ton. But these are, f this is a fairly light mech. That's a bummer. Um, what about lasers? Do you have uh, only one slot for lasers? Well, that's a bummer. Um, auto cannons, they're heavy, man. Oi. So maybe let's ditch the auto cannon. We'll stick one SRM on there. And we'll leave one SRM ammo, which gives me a hundred rounds. Divided by six, so that should be plenty of ammo there. LRM ammo. Oi, man. This might be more complicated than I expected. Although there's nothing in the arms, so let's bring that down. Five each, that's still not enough. Rear armor can go down. Okay. Take this from the back, put it up front. Okay, two LRM ammos and one SRM ammo. That's that's fine. Um that's fine. Right. Okay, so the Wolverine Trebuchet has a lot of missiles. Let's refit you. So let's get rid of your short range stuff. Um, you're not gonna need a million heat sinks anymore. Let's leave the medium range missiles for now. Uh, LRM 15, LRM 15. Uh, take off a medium laser. Oh man, um, jump jets. Are you gonna need jump jets? This is a weird mech. It doesn't have like a lot of hard points at all. He's 
So I could just straight up remove all the lasers. Let's um take down the armor. Take these down to 80. Let's just give him one medium laser. We can bring this back up a little bit. So 48, so that would give me two slots for LRM ammo. Heat efficiency is kind of bad. Do I need jump jets? Let's uh, let's skip the jump jets. Although those are good for building up evasion. Let's, um, let's leave those on. Um, I think that's fine. Logged and noted. Okay, who else? The Shadowhawk. Who's going to be my short range guy? Maybe the Shadowhawk would be good for that. Small laser, medium laser, SRM, AC5. two heat sinks um yeah this will be my short range guy so shadowhawk you can stay so the cicada is an interesting mech that might have an interesting role in this lance because it's a scout and sniper so it can get up and get vision and if they get close then it can switch to the small lasers but beyond that I'm not sure it absolutely fits in with this lance I'm trying to des uh, design so maybe the Vindicator yeah this one already has an LRM 20 LRM 20 LRM ammo a large laser. I don't think that's particularly necessary. Let's give you maybe two medium lasers instead. PPC might not be a bad choice either. Oh, and this has multiple and more tonnage. Uh, how many more jump jets? Jump jet? Come on. Any more? Nope, you're full. Okay, so that's good. Heat efficiency is good, so maybe... Five tons for a large. Only one ton for a medium. So maybe he can be long slash short range support. Oh, I don't want that many medium lasers. Let's do one more heat sink. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, so we'll do the Wolverine, Shadowhawk, Vindicator, and Trebuchet. Let me take another look at the Blackjack, make sure he's not worth bringing on board. He's got a decent amount of armor. He might be a good short range mech. He can't give any missile support though. I do kind of want to have okay yeah I'm good with that Lance so how many mech warriors do I have Kickstarter backer he's got five in gunnery okay 
might be worth hiring. You already have sensor lock. Oh, you already have evasive movement. I do like evasive movement. Yeah. yeah. What can I do you for? Oh, I can't hire you yet. I probably have to get to my destination first. Okay, that's fine. Let's get to moving. So this contract that I'm heading towards now is um, three skulls difficult. So I do probably want to bring my primary lance to that one. Ooh, power surge in the mech bay. When you're inspecting a grasshopper, an intense power surge ripples through the cavernous mech bay. From the top of a gantry ladder above you, Yang hollers out his mech techs as repair tools spark wildly. Cables lift in spasm, and a barrel of something oily looking uh, inexplicably, inexplicably combust. Scanning for a way to help, you find a master control panel, a massive emergency shutoff breaker beckons, as well as numerous individual power switches. Oh, okay, so I already have an automation. Excellent. Um, prod the safety system into action. No lasting consequences. I guess that's the best I can hope for in this situation. With a bang, your balled up fist on the control panel, the blinking light strobes urgently, uh, strobes urgently, and then settles into a solid reassuring glow. Immediately, nu numerous safety systems spring into action. Between the automated systems and the coordinated effort of Yang's mech techs, the threatening disaster is averted. With a widening grin on his face, Yang calls down to you. That's how we handle things here, boss. If only the term automated would mean always on, I'd be a lot happier. He thinks for a moment. You know, there are more improvements to automation in the Argo we could pursue if we had the sea bills. Um, yeah, that reminds me. Let's see if there's any ship upgrades. I don't think I have any going on right now. Okay, increased morale. Increased morale. Are these all morale upgrades? Uh, increased morale. Increased morale. Jesus. Library. Increased morale. Improved automation. Three tech points. Oh, what do I need for that? Automation, mech bay 2, structural repair. Argo's drive was enough to get it off the surface of a low gravity moon, but much of the supporting infrastructure was damaged in the escape, and running the drive at full power requires extensive repairs. Once the repairs are complete, the drive can generate 1.5 G of thrust. Oh, that's cool. So it can probably get me places quicker. That's interesting. So wait a minute, what did this need? I have all these. Structural repair, mech bay 2, automation. I have mech bay 2, automation, or no. Yeah, automation. What was the last one? Structural repair. I have plenty of money. Maybe I do have an upgrade going on right now. Oh, I do. Med Bay 2. Okay. That's fine. Let's get moving. Upgrades you asked for are awesome. I got the financial report. Yay. 
482, that's fine. Normal morale. Um, so let's go back to ship upgrades. And now we can do repair and refit. 20 days for that. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. That is okay. I need more tech points. Look at all these mechs I need to keep in line. Not yet. Um, so Medusa is out. Evasive and sensor lock, so let's hire you. New mech warriors available. And let's check out the store. Get a nice, a better medium laser. It's always good to have. New weapon systems available. Oh, SRM four plus plus. New weapon systems available. Twenty five to crit. Nah, it's not that important to me. Um. Okay. Okay, so that's my B squad. It looks like my A squad is ready. Let's launch the contract. And my grasshopper, that is usually Medusa. So, um, she is evasive. Need pilot and guts. Decker, I think, might be a good Medusa replacement. Although he has a lot of tactics, he might be better for a longer range mech. Dragon. Mm. She is not great for long range, so she has a lot of tactics, which is kind of wasted on the dragon, considering I don't have any long range missiles, and tactics is mostly for. Uh, Her piloting is shit. Yep, she can go in the grasshopper. It's my fave. What is wrong with this? What's wrong with my grasshopper? Oh, uh, one ton is missing. So what was it that was destroyed? Jump jet, jump jet, jump jet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, the flamer. It had a flamer destroyed. And we didn't have a flamer, so let's see if there was one in the store.
Flavor? There it is. New weapon systems available. My poor grasshopper took such a beating. There she goes. One day. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. day okay perfect so uh i'm gonna end this video here it's kind of a long prep one but it's my whole new lance so fuck it uh i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the mission